as you can see, I'm on a 60 overall player right now, and that's because I decided to make a new center. Higher than Elon Musk, so high stars in the dust, and I got a colorful aura, like I got neon guts. I wanted to make one that can shoot, so I decided to make a shot creating stretch big. I made him power forward just for Pro-Am, but he is actually 7 feet tall. I was going to make him 7'3", but then he can't shoot off dribble shots, and this player actually can. So look at this right here. His layups and dunks don't go that high. Driving layup and dunk, like in the 60s and 40s, that's pretty bad. But look at this mid-range. Open mid-range 90, moving 77. That's pretty good for a player that's 7 feet tall. And then for the 3-pointer, he has an 89-3 and a 78 moving shot 3. So that's actually really good also, especially for a 7-foot player. Then ball handling, I don't need that much, but it's honestly pretty high for a 7-footer. Playmaking is pretty good. Like pass vision 71, that's pretty good on a big that doesn't even have playmaking in their archetype. Post offense, I'm not really going to need, so that's not that high. Rebounding, that's, that's not looking too good right now, but... We'll see if we can still get some boards. I, I think I'll be able to because last year in 2K I used the glass cleaner and this year I have rebounding as my primary archetype on my main player. So I think I know how to box out well enough to get rebounds even with a 66 rebound. Um, steals, 64, that's pretty bad. Block, 64, also pretty bad. This player is all offense. This is probably the best offensive big man in the game if not the best, because pure stretches, I mean, they're good, but they can only shoot threes. This player can shoot threes. He can shoot mid-range. His layups and dunks are pretty low, but I think he'll be able to do it pretty well. Vertical, 49. I'm not going to need that as much. Lateral quickness, 48. Yeah, defense is not a strength on this player. His speed, 53. That's, that's pretty high for a center, so I'll be able to outrun other centers. Acceleration, 52. Strength is kind of low, 52 right now. It'll probably go up to like low 60s, I would guess. So that's not that good either. I might get bullied in the paint, but I think I can play defense well enough to stop that. And then of course, stamina goes all the way up to 96. So right now I only have 73 KVC. So let's reset this. I'm gonna upgrade. Let's go, let me max out my rebounding first because that I'll definitely need. Um, passing so I don't make dumb passes. Uh, three-pointer? I'm, I'm gonna put it at 75 for now, just in case I needed extra VC. Yeah, I'll put three-pointer in mid-range at 75 for now, just so I can save some just in case. Uh, dunks and layups on max, because they don't go that high at all. We still got 30k VC, so... I mean, speed with ball? I don't know if I'm gonna max. Eh. Nah, I'm not gonna max. I'm not gonna upgrade that for now. Because when I'm grinding badges, I just need shooting badges for now. So low key, uh, I don't have enough to max this, but I'll get this to like an 80, this to like an 80. We got 6,000 more. Mm, hey, let me upgrade this real quick. 67k down the drain, but it's all for good purposes because I needed a center that could shoot. We're getting a bunch of badges, dribble moves, stuff like that. 68 overall, that's, that's looking a lot better than 60, but... For badges, we can get Corner Specialist, Pick and Popper, Deep Range Dead Eye, Catch and Shoot, and Mid Range Dead Eye, which is really good. Um, yeah, it's mainly shooting badges everywhere. I get difficult shots too. That's why I wanted to make this guy shorter. Because if I were 7'3, I would have. I think this player can get gold difficult shots. And I would have gold difficult shots. And that would be pretty bad if my off dribble mid range were like a 60 something and my 3 were like a 50 something. So that's another reason why I made my player 7 feet tall. Limitless range, I think that can get to silver. I'm not really focused on shooting deep, but I am focused on shooting. Up and under specialist, tireless score, pick and roller. Relentless finisher, that's going to be pretty good. Even though my guy is not that good at finishing inside, I think the badge will help him. And we have teardropper, bruiser, lob city finisher. I'm surprised I have that. Maybe it's just because I'm a big man, but I don't know. Oh, drop stepper, that's a good badge. I don't have that badge at all on my other player. I don't know how. I thought it would be at least bronze, but I'm pretty good at drop steps, so hopefully that badge can help. Maybe get me some space in the paint, but we'll see. We got post spin technician, brick wall, charge card, which that's just for chromium, but I don't even use that at all. Free throws, quick Thanks reflexes, and glue hands, and then two badges we just got. So since most of our badges are shooting badges, I think with this VC, I'm gonna, uh, I wanna upgrade my three pointer more, but I would only be able to once in the mid range. Yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade my three, and then I'll have like a thousand VC. I'll just spend it on speed, I guess. 12 seconds later. I'll do it on defense for now. But yeah, this is what we're gonna do for now. So, driving layup 62, that's, that's not that good, but 
I'd rather have that than like a 50 something. You always gotta be positive about that. Standing layup's not bad at all. Uh, dunking, dunking is definitely not my thing, as you guys can see. Mid range, I kept it at an 80 for now. At my 381. So maybe I could get difficult shots with three pointers since my moving shot three is 71. But for now, I'm just gonna be focused on like catch and shoot corner specialists. Mainly sharpshooter badges, not the shot created ones for now. Uh, ball handling, we just left that. Passing, I maxed it. Rebounding, I maxed. Blocks, I almost maxed. And yeah, everything else is still pretty low. But I'm going to be trying to get some badges on this player. I guess one on board because... Yeah, I mainly made the new center for Park because my other player, like the slashing rebounder that I have, He's good for Pro-Am, but Park, I mean, he's good, but it gets boring. And then when you don't have a center that can shoot on the team, it's very hard for guards to get open, especially in the paint, because the other center can just sit in the paint. Like, my mid-range is maxed on my other center, and it's maybe like a 62, 63, something like that. So, that's not really going to cut it, because, I mean, I shoot mid-ranges every once in a while, but it's like a hit or miss with a full bar. It's like a 50% chance of making it, so I don't really... I don't take those risks because I don't want to make my team lose, so I try to get easy buckets without shooting. So that's why I had to make a shooting player. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be grinding badges on this player over the next few days since there's a three-day weekend. Pretty excited about that. And I actually got a question for you guys. So for Road to 99, I've been using my other center, but it gets kind of boring playing on him. So do you guys want me to use like a different player? Like I could use my Pure Sharp 610. I could use my guard 6'4 playmaking slasher or I could use this player so if you guys want me to change the player that I'm using for Road to 99 just let me know because I feel like playing on the other center can get kind of boring I don't know if it's boring to watch for you guys like if it's fun to watch for you guys I'll still play on him because it's not it's not that boring with him it's just that I, I kind of get annoyed when I can't shoot because I'm not really putting up like big numbers that many highlights or anything like that so if it's boring for you guys to watch just let me know and I'll be dropping some gameplay with this player too so I guess once I drop that gameplay you guys can compare this to the road to the 99 series and then I guess you guys can compare it from there and just let me know so yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'm out peace I think it's catching up to me Nobody's catching up to me. Nobody's catching up. I'm like, can I get some company? I'm like, can I get some company? I'm like, damn, I'm really undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's catching up to me. I think it's catching up to me. Nobody's catching up to me. Nobody's catching up. Like, can I get some company?